QR codes are making a comeback and now you can design them inside of Canva without having to leave the design editor. I have utilized this feature on both printed material like a business card and inside of a presentation digitally. So I wanna walk you through how to locate this, how to customize it, and also show you a creative approach to QR codes if you want to take your code to the next level. Canvas QR code is free, but you can get access to Canva Pro free for 45 days by utilizing my link, lashondabrown.com slash Canva45. Within Canva, you'll be able to customize the background color, the foreground color, and the margin size. You can generate that QR code and you can drive traffic to any URL that you'd like simply by pasting it inside of the generator. So we're going to open up a business card template and a presentation template, and I will show you how to add your QR code to those designs. To get started, you're going to click on create a design and then type in business card into the search bar. I want to play around with a vertical business card for this. So we'll click on portrait and that is going to open up the design editor and then pull in vertical business card templates on the left hand side. The business templates that are paid templates will be notated by that crown in the bottom right. So those will be your Canva Pro templates. If it does not have a crown, you can utilize it for free. So we'll go ahead and just select one of these that we'd like. Let's see, I like the colors in this one. So we'll go ahead and click on that design and you'll see that there is a front and a back to the card. We will apply it to both pages so that those two pages will be generated within the design editor. Now, obviously when you're handing out these business cards, you can decide what's the front and what's the back, but I think it would be fun in this case since all the information is on this side of it that we change out the piano here and we add the QR code there. Or what you could do is you could shift the design around and add the QR code on the bottom. Either way would work. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go over to the left hand side, click on apps, and then we're going to start typing QR code. The first thing we'll play around with is the simple version of this. So in the top, you'll see QR code. Just give that a click and then click on open. Once you're ready to create that code, click on QR code and then paste or type in the URL for where you would like to direct traffic. I'm going to paste in LaShondaBrown.com, which is my website and click on generate code. That is going to drop in a very plain QR code like you're accustomed to seeing them. It's white and black. It's fairly typical. However, you can customize this to fit your brand and I'm going to show you how to do that. So first, what we wanna do is just go ahead and drag it into place where we would like it to appear. And I want you to click on an object in your design and then simply select one of your brand colors that you would like to have in your QR code. So I am going to select this light color here and then click on the plus sign here. That will help me to just copy and paste the hex code. Now, if you have your hex codes memorized or you have them in another window, you can always drag it from there, but that's just a simple way to get access to them. And then when we click on our QR code and the drop down beside customize, there we're able to change the black and the design to our brand color. If you also want to change the margins, you can do that by dragging from left to right. When you're done, you can generate code again, or you can update code by clicking on your previous design and that will update it as well. So that's a very simple version of a QR code. And like I said, you can put this code in a presentation if you are presenting a talk both virtually or in person. And I like to use that as a way to drive traffic to a survey or a giveaway opportunity to engage my audience. It could be another way that you drive traffic to a landing page for people to opt in for your slides. That's a very simple way to grow your email list without creating more work for yourself. So QR codes, you know, are really helpful, especially if you're speaking in person, because people will typically have their phones out anyway. And then that way they can scan your code and go exactly where you want to send traffic to. And you don't have to worry about making short links or bitly links to make it easier for people to type it in manually. 
So that's your simple QR code option. But what I also want to show you is the dynamic QR code. So if we go back to our apps, I want to click on dynamic QR code here. This is a way that you can add a stylish QR code to your design without having to leave Canva and it is powered by hover code. You select the template, add your logo, brand color, and more, and then it will create an even more dynamic QR code for you to add to your design. So we'll click on open there. And now you see you have some more options. So instead of just the simple version, you could do something in a circle, you could do something in a square. So this is going to give you a bit more options. If we click here, we can again type in LashondaBrown.com. We can add the hex code from before. I could even upload a logo directly to this and I can add it to my design. So if you preferred it in a circle, you could get rid of that and you can drag it down here under your design. This way you can add a more stylish version of a QR code. The last QR code generator I wanna highlight is Mojo AI. So you'll click on Mojo AI in the bottom right hand corner under that search. From there, it'll open up a window and you'll want to click on QR art in the top right hand corner. From there, type in your idea for your masterpiece. In this case, I'm gonna say piano. Then we'll select the art style. In this case, I think I want digital art. Then we'll type in the website that we want to direct traffic to. So I'll type in my website again. You can change the QR weight. So I'll bring it up to 1.3 and I will create a masterpiece. Now, if you create a free account, you will have some credits loaded into your profile. So you will need to log in if you have an account already or you can register for free by clicking on register if that prompt appears for you. So now I will click on create masterpiece. And so it tells me to relax while they transform my idea into a work of art. So just like other Canva apps, you're going to see it loading on the load bar. And when it is complete, your design options should appear. I hope this tutorial helped provide you with some options for QR codes that you can use on posters, on business cards, or in your next presentation. For more Canva tutorials, feel free to check out my playlist. Until next time, to talk for now.